Welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lilly. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Now let's start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with video games costing $70? It's like video games costing $60 with the ground. Yes, it's uh, your greatest source for belated gaming news. Uh, Add it again. With hearing about these rumors about, you know, video games, uh, the idea is that with this next console generation, there's the idea going around here that maybe games will cost uh, $70 for a brand new AAA video game instead of 60 And, uh, <clears throat> well, thing is, uh, there's a few things to go into, I guess, with this. Um... And uh, I know it's really easy to just, uh, at, the, at the outset of this, be like, oh, well, like, you know, that, that sounds bad because, well, $70 is more than $60, right? And to some extent, that kind of works, but it's a little bit unfair. You see, $60 is usually what you pay for a base game these days. Um, it's been a long time since you've been able to really pay $60 and get a full, complete, finished game. Usually they have to keep rolling out, you know, bug fixes and patches and updates and DLC, and, and you know, it's <clears throat> rare that a game is actually done and full and finished and complete. Uh, so uh, I guess you'll have to forgive me if I seem a little bit, um, I don't know, annoyed at the, at the idea that games only cost $60. Um, that's a little bit of a uh, horse shit at this point. Um, and the thing is, uh, having games cost more money wouldn't be a bad thing uh, if it meant something, uh, w like, if it meant we would get something out of it, right? Like, the people that are going to have to pay more money for it are going to get something for paying more money for it. Um, and what I mean is, I think I'd be fine if video games even would cost, you know, $80 if the game was full, complete, and finished when I bought it. Um, you know, but uh, the, the thing is, uh, that's something that uh, is not really uh, something that game companies want to do, because if they do that, well, then they're not going to be making that money. Um, <clears throat> all this extra money they can't make. And what they want to do is, you know, make more money off of the same amount of content, or, if possible... Uh, make even less content, but make even more money off of that content, right? Like, that would be ideal. Um, but the, the thing is, game costing $70 probably just means that now you'll have to pay $70 to get the base game. And you'll still have to deal with, you know, um, you know updates and patches and DLC and microtransactions and season passes and game of the year editions reboots remakes and all this other bullshit that goes along with releasing a game now there's just so many different ways to just take money and just try to just nickel and dime the fuck out of you with just a single game entry that uh, it's just not that exciting to think that you know like oh look a new game like I'm, at this point, just wondering how much extra shit I'm going to have to buy to actually experience the full game of this game at this point. Um, and do I want to even bother doing that? Do I even want to bother with the base game without that shit? And uh, $70 now is just also a bad thing because, again, it just means you're going to have to pay more money to get probably the same amount of shit you would have got at this point for 60 Games haven't really advanced all that much since then e either, right? Like... I feel like it's been a long time since game of, you know, video games have made a huge, like, jump forward. So what the fuck is this, then? Like, why do I give a shit? Why do I... What, what about this makes me want to pay $70 because I want to keep playing these games? Because I want to keep following these franchises? That's about the best you're going to get. And at some point, it's going to, you know, it's, you're going to need more. At some point, you'll need more than someone just wanting to keep following with the fucking franchise to make it work, I guess. Um, at least, I think so. I, it was probably happening to me. Um, you, if you put out something that doesn't look all that fun and I have to pay a whole shitload of money just to try to see if I think it's fun, 
uh, eventually I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm just going to play these old games that I already know are fun, and I have so many of them I don't really ever have to buy a new game again, and I'll still have a game to play all the time when I want to. Um, it's just really, really frustrating to think that, you know, this is something that's happening, and then also that, you know, just this weird misconception that, oh, now it's a problem that they're going to be trying to get more money out of us for the same amount of game. But this is the thing that it might take for people to wake up and realize that. It's been that way for quite a while now, for fucking years now, and, um, boy, I'm already sick of it. So this makes me, but this, I'm so sick of it, this makes my vomis want to vomis. That's how bad it is. So, uh, I don't know, the, the whole thing of, of this, oh, we had $70. Yeah, it's bad, but it's mostly bad because now it's just going to cost you more money. And also, indie games can probably get away with charging more money now because AAA games cost more. Games in general will just maybe cost more now if this goes through. But, you know, if it catches on, if people actually pay that money, which I'm assuming based on how they've treated things like DLC and microtransactions and season passes and a lot of this other stupid bullshit, it'll probably go through and eventually just become the standard. And we'll just have to find the next annoying-ass business trend to try and take our fucking money away to get mad at to forget that this was already a problem, like we do with all of these. So, um, what's the deal with video games costing $70? I think that's an understatement. What's the deal with sin?